Okay, well, I know your time is valuable, so I want to go ahead and get started. Welcome to today's webinar. And I, oh, Phil just made a good point. Oh, chat's rolling in now. Sorry, one second. I'm going to restart. Everyone, there, now the chat's on. Try it again, folks. Sorry about that. <laughs> My bad. Okay, we've got people joining us from D.C. No, Phillips in Arizona, Missouri, San Francisco. Perfect. We are coast to coast. I love it. Oh, Wisconsin, too. I'll be yeah. there this summer. You're going to Nebraska. I'll be in, in Wisconsin that time. That's right. That's right. Good deal. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Sorry about the chat, Snafu. Let me kick this off again. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Kristen Tyler. I'm one of the co-founders of LawClerk.Legal. We are really happy to host this webinar today with our good friend, Philip Fairley of the Rainmaker Institute. Before I introduce Phil and turn this over to him to share some of his magic and wisdom, just wanted to take a minute to share a little bit about LawClerk. If you've never heard of us before, you can find us on the web at LawClerk.Legal. In a nutshell, what we do is we help busy lawyers and law firms of all sizes get more work done by connecting you with freelance lawyers to do work on a project basis, an hourly basis, a subscription basis. We have a lot of different solutions that are all very flexible and we can customize them to your practice area and your needs. And I think the flexibility is really key because as you know, the practice of law can ebb and flow, change a lot day to day. And so we're here to be a solution for you as you're growing and scaling your firm and your staffing needs change when it comes to attorneys. Our focus is just on attorneys. So that's a law clerk in a nutshell. But um, so the reason I'm so excited for today's webinar is because, okay, as law firm owners, we are busy and we know we've been hearing it everywhere that we should be doing more and more video marketing, but it can be a little overwhelming. And Unless you have a good strategy, it can be really time consuming. It can take upwards of an hour to shoot one video with multiple takes. Um, so that's why I'm really happy that Phil offered to come and join us and present to us on his strategy to record not one, but multiple videos in an hour or maybe even less. So um, so have no fear. Philip Fairley is here. He is the president of the Rainmaker Institute. And uh, I befriended Phil very early on in my legal tech journey at the ABA Tech Show. And I'm really glad to stay in touch with him and, and keep our collaboration going. And I really appreciate your generosity, Phil, to join us and share the strategy. It's really great. So, um, but yeah, Philip, Philip has been working with law firms for over 20 years. And really his passion and his focus with the work they're doing at Rainmaker is helping law firms grow um, through marketing, through smart analytics, through data, and if you've not heard of them before, definitely go check them out online as well. And before Phil and I came on here, he actually asked me if I'd seen him present this presentation before. And I said, no, I haven't. I'm actually really excited for this myself and I'm going to be taking notes. So without further ado, Philip Fairley, I'm going to hand the floor over to you. And I know we're all excited to hear what you have to share. Thank you. Well, thank you, Kristen. I'm glad you have no fear. I love that. I've never heard that. I've said no my fear. name rhymed and mispronounced from junior high on, but nobody ever said that before. I like it. There you um, go. Yeah, thank you for inviting me um, to, to present this. One of the things that I wanted to make sure, and I told Kristen, I think three times, make sure you tell them about Law Clerk and what you do first, because I have to tell you, we have so many law firm owners that are using them, leveraging them as a profit center. They're making like 3x ROI and actually being able to get the work done. Because, you know, there's a lot of work out there and sometimes you always can't take it or we have a lot of clients that will turn away work, right? But the ones that are using Law Clerk to leverage that as a natural extension of their firm, I have to tell you, it is a game changer for anybody who's scaling your firm. I don't care if you have 20 attorneys, 60 attorneys, or if you're solo and you're doing 500,000 in revenue and everything in between. So I have to tell you, we're really big fans because of the results. I also like her. She's an attorney, but it's really the results that why we're, we're the biggest fan. So thanks again for, for having me on today. So I am really excited about this. This is one of the most fun topics I teach because video can be so intimidating. Like literally, I have never seen a seven inch piece of plastic and glass take a, an adult, a grown adult and have them crumble to their knees quicker than when you bring up a phone and hit the record button. People think you have to be funny. They, you think you have to know all of the, it's, it's not, it's really not a, an art, it's a science. And I'm gonna teach you that. Just the same way that we told 
taught Mike, this Texas attorney that I'm going to share the story about how he accomplishes this and also what he gets for results on it. So um, I am really, really excited about this. So I'm going to jump right into it. So real quick on Rainmaker, um, one of the largest law firm marketing companies in the industry. We started work in 1999. This is our 25th year in business. Over 23,000 burgers sold. I mean, attorneys worked with, um, right? I feel like we need the golden arches. But we've spoken to over 35 of the largest state local bar associations, a lot of times for CLEs. We, we talk about marketing, lead conversion, intake, the business of law. We've created the only automated intake system we call Turbine. And actually the only business intelligence, the automated data tracking for law firms, we call that Rainalytics. Um, and ultimately, the only thing that you need to understand is the strategies I'm teaching or what attorneys are using right now, the strategies that we always discuss and teach are things that are working right now because we're a big data-driven company. But ultimately, we have helped more law firms grow into seven and eight-figure businesses than anyone else. So that's a little bit about Rainmaker. You don't need to know anything more about me. Um, I'm just going to jump right into this right now. So here's what I'm going to teach you. This is the good stuff. I'm going to teach you why you must start using video now. I'm going to keep that quick because like Kristen said, it's everywhere. You know it. You consume it. You know you need more of it. You're just intimidated because you've tried to do this yourself or got a quote from somebody that would do it for you. And it's scary either with the money, the time, the effort, and ultimately bad results. So I'm going to talk to you about the value of it. I'm also going to talk to you how Mike records and distributes these videos, shooting five, he shot six in an hour and five minutes, like a couple months ago. So he's become really, really efficient. And it's all because of the process that we use, that we show him. We actually help him do it as well. I'm also going to give you the universal scripting formula. This is good stuff. Take one idea. And within five minutes, you can create your entire video script for any situation. That was pretty neat. So let me tell you a little bit about Mike. I'm a journey in Texas. He really, really wanted to use video on his firm, right? He started it. But he didn't have enough time. In. It was like 2030. And or client paperwork, then videos, and so he just stopped doing it, right? Because it took so long. Um, you know what? Somebody said my audio, okay. Sorry, Linda, I talk real passionate and loud. I'm probably turning away from my mic. Um, but uh, the other thing that Mike didn't know is he was really unsure of what to say. He's like, I know what to say in a courtroom. I know what to say in a consult. And I've got these great ideas. And now I just hit record on my camera. And I'm like, uh, what do I say now? He thought he would look like an idiot on camera. Nobody likes, I don't even like watching my videos. I hate the, the, my voice. I, I public speak and I don't even like to watch my, I, I, I'm going to talk to you about how we get him to overcome that. But this is legit. This, this is what was his excuses were. I'm going to look stupid, right? And he didn't know what to do with editing. And so he just stopped creating it because it was such a nightmare for him. But I'm going to tell you the process I'm going to show you that we taught Mike works with every law firm, every law firm and attorney that we've taught. It just works, right? So video, video humanizes your brand. It's funny, I've been saying this the last couple of weeks, I think there's two types of people in the world. Um, there's attorneys and there's regular people. <laughs> Honestly, they don't think you're human. They think you're gonna charge them $1,000 to pick up the phone. They think you're gonna swindle them. They think you're going to continue this until eternity, until you pay them enough money and you have no more money, and then they're going to drop your case. That's what everybody thinks about you. When they pick up the phone, that's one of the probably the most difficult phone call they've ever made. How many times did they not hit the dial button before they actually did? Video humanizes you. It helps you connect and overcome that. It attracts leads. It impacts and sets you apart from everybody else that's scrambling for those leads. And then the biggest part that people forget about is that video actually converts leads into clients quicker than anything else. So let me tell you how this works. Okay, see this word boy on a page, right? We're gonna play a little mind game here. What is that? Don't tell me, but 
what's image? What, what, what comes to your mind when you see boy on a page? Don't tell me. Now I want you to close your eyes. I want you to think of a five-year-old boy with a basketball sitting on a couch beside his dog with a big smile. What does that elicit? What emotion? Okay. Now, think of that same boy in the living room dribbling a basketball with his dog beside him, and he dribbles the basketball off the dog's head, starts laughing and giggling, and falls over with laughter. Now, you can open your eyes, and you tell me which one is more impactful. It's There's just no question about it. Marketing in your video, uh, adding video to your everything you do, including your marketing, will accelerate every ROI quicker than what it is because you have that impact, right? Yeah, I, uh, right. I, I want to, I'm, I'm trying to find one of our employees as a little boy. I'm like, hey, will you dribble this basketball with your dog so I can take a video of you, but I don't have it. So how we communicate is so vital. Yeah, the dog's okay. No, nobody was hurt in the filming of that visual video, right? Thanks, man. Um, how we communicate is so vital, right? Do you understand that 60% of your communication is based on tone? I think that's why I do so well, because I'm really passionate about certain things. And people listen. Uh, not my teenagers, and they don't, but people, because of my passion, my tonality, right? 30% of your communication is based on your body language. Why do you think we don't do these on phones? Why do you still think we have live events? Why do you think we talk to people when you're in a consult face-to-face? Because you want to read their body language. You know this more than anyone else. You may not realize it, but only 10% is based upon what you say or your content. Like all this prep that you've done in all these years and everything you've spent to master your, your art at the consultation or attracting leads and they only remember 10%. And it's really about how you present yourself with everything else. Communication is vital. You have to understand that. It's not what you say, it's how you say it, right? So here's some excuses Mike had about video. I don't like the way I look on camera. I told him, get over it. I've got a face for radio. What's your excuse? Get over it. Nobody cares. Nobody's not hired you because you had like a growth coming out of your forehead, like a purple horn. They don't care. They really don't care. Look on social media, look on videos and you'll be like, oh my goodness, right? They don't care. Get over it. That's what we told Dan, uh, Mike, I mean. I'm not good with tech. If you can hit record on your phone, and plug a microphone into the back of your phone, that's all the tech you need. So don't worry about it. I don't have the time. You have to calendar this, just like you do consultations. If you don't, you will never have time because you will always make excuses. All you have to do is put it on a calendar once a month, right? It seems expensive. No, it's not. There's a lot of companies out there that will sell you $50,000 videos. I'm talking about do it yourself. It doesn't know what to say. We said, look, I'm going to show you exactly what to say. So that's not an excuse that 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 you're going to have after this. And I'm also going to show you guys, right? I'll get nervous. I'll say the wrong words. Guess what? None of your videos are published unless you approve it. You edit that stuff out or you retake it. So it's not an issue, right? I'm not creative or funny enough. You know what? You leave that up to the editors. We're not looking for entertainment here. I'm going to talk to you. Even Mike does some entertaining videos, and he's not an entertaining person. You leave it up to the video editors. You just give good content, right? So now that we had him overcome those excuses, these are the type of videos that we told him that he had to make. These are the these are like what we call table stakes. Core, your core videos. These are your website videos. Your um, every one of your practice areas. Your your why video. Like, why are you this type of an attorney? What do you do to help people? Different things like that. What I call your core, every one of your page, your about us, every one of your pages should have videos on that, no matter what the pages are. Those are what we call the core videos because you've got to stack this into your website, right? Then FAQs. You probably have some on your webpage. And if you track the traffic, probably nobody ever reads them. They'll watch your videos. If you're talking about, here's three things to know if you're going to get divorced in North Carolina right? Or five things to know about estate planning in San Francisco, or, you know, how to, how to do mediation in St. Louis, whatever it may be. These are FAQs that your potential clients ask you all day long, every day, all day. And the new ones, you write them down and then you got another topic, another video to create. 
right? How it works. Some of you may have repeat business, especially if you're in criminal defense, but others of you may not. Some of you may have ongoing business and ongoing clients, but they have no idea how this works. We have clients that give video directions from their car to how to walk into the courtroom. They don't even know how any of this works. So you got to explain to them how this process works. That will be one of your more watched videos. React. Mike loves React videos. These are around pop culture. He's criminal defense. I'll talk about him later. But he does things on Tupac. He does things on Otani, the, the Dodger that just, you got, you know, he's getting investigated for gambling. He's supposed to be the best, biggest sports baseball player in history. He talks about all of these different things that are happening locally and nationally. And people are consuming those videos because they love it when a lawyer breaks down this. Wow. That React video to something pop culture, that's probably going to be by far your most viewed videos. But that shouldn't be your only thing. You're nurturing videos. Too many law firms think that when you're marketing, when somebody calls your firm, your marketing stops, it changes to nurturing from lead generation to nurturing marketing. So everybody that's called your firm that hasn't hired, you need to be nurturing to them. You may be sending out emails. You should be sending out 10 to 12 emails. You should have three to five or seven text messages strung over like a normal sales cycle, criminal defense, a couple of weeks, estate planning or tax or some of these others or business or IP, no longer, right? You know, it matches your sales cycle, but nurturing videos will be seen thousands of times by everybody who contacts your firm. You can talk about your story. You talk about all the, I'll give you a couple other topics as well, but these nurturing videos, case studies about how you help other people in their situation, that turns leads into clients more than anything else. So let's get into the three kind of areas of scripting and then the actual recording and the shoot and then the distribution. This is the nuts and bolts. This is, I spent a lot of time in Chicago. I would have normally say, this is how you make the sausage, okay? I'm gonna tell you that. So I want to let you know that strategy is king here, but scripting is queen. So you've got to have the right strategy. So if you're just throwing things out there, Nobody's going to see them. So we love helping guide new attorneys that are doing this on their own, How what strategies they should use. I'll give you my contact information at the end. If you ever want to do a session on what your strategy should be, I'd love it, right? But you've got to know they go hand in hand. So what I'm going to show you right now is confidential. I want you sharing this with anybody. Not your referral partner, surely not your competitors, surely not anybody else in the legal space, because we've kind of cracked the code on this, because I have to tell you, there's this many companies in the United States that's doing what we're doing, and what I'm showing you now. Zero, besides Rainmaker. That's it. So don't share this. Please keep it confidential. And if you keep it confidential, I'll give you more of these at the end. So Mike strategizes and meets with us, because we help him do this. He meets with us for 20 minutes every month to strategize and script all of his videos for that month. We help them choose the topics. We help them choose the strategy. We do and react, frequently ask questions. Or if we're not sure, there's a site called VidIQ. You can go there and it will tell you what people are searching for on YouTube. It's awesome. It's like answer the public for SEO. I don't know if you know that, but VidIQ, it's a great tool. We use it a lot. Scripts, use the template outline because you have these ideas. How are you going to turn it into something that you can then record with? So we use templates. Think of them as like mad libs, right? Because you were as a kid, right? In junior high, you'd fill in the verb or the adjective. Here, you just fill in a couple bullet points and then you're golden. Quickly take your one idea and script it in five minutes. Do not write in long sentences because you don't, you're not reading, right? So here's the script. So let me break this down to you. We have probably 25 of these for different areas. We have a React one on a boat. On a, a did, this is a did you know? Hey, did you know X Y Z? Right? It's kind of a educational FAQ one. We've got profile video scripts. You've got a unique situation. We'll create another script template for you. Right? So um, how this is, and this <laughs> Christian, uh, this is exactly the process. You've got an attention getter. This is your hook. So I'm going to use the example of divorce because it's weird in North Carolina. You know, here's the hook, and it's usually one to two sentences. You actually will write out the sentence for this, and this is the reason that people will watch your video or scroll to the next one. So you get your hook right. Hey, did you know in North Carolina you cannot get divorced for 364 days? And you have to be physically, legally, physically separated from your partner, not even in the same location. 
before you can file for divorce, right? So that's the teaser. It's like the salacious, it's the headline, the clickbait, whatever you want to call it, right? It's got truth to it, but you turn it into a question or a did you know or something like this to hook them in so they'll watch it. Then the next part is your intro. You do the same intro every time. Here's my intro. If you ever watched any of my videos, hello, my name is Philip Fairley and I'm the president of Brainmaker Institute. Since 1999, we have helped more law firms grow into seven and eight figure businesses than anyone else. That's my intro. I regurgitate it every single time. That's my brand, right? I maybe have one or two variations, but that's it, right? You're saying the same thing every time. So you've got your attention getter, you got your intro, then you go to your body. The first part of the body, you quickly regurgitate the hook. And then you go into point one, point two, point three, and hopefully point three is a case study or a story like I'm telling you about Mike, right? So point number one, hey, the first reason this is important is because X. Oh, here's the second reason it's important, and this is what you need to do. And then the third is, here's a scary story of that somebody didn't do this, and this is what happened to them. If you can sell it, put a story in there, bonus points, right? If you can't, you can't. So you take any concept and any idea, you've got the attention getter, the intro, the body, and then your outro. Your outro is a little regurgitation of your intro, but a little different. I have seen so too many people caught up in this situation before, right? Um, so if you don't understand how the process works here in North Carolina, please call my firm because we help people in this exact, you know, in this exact situation. Hello, my name, you know, Phil Fairley is my contact information, one 800 you know, victory is my number, um, right? Or whatever it may be. And that's your outro. So now you've got a template for a did you know video. you got a good concept that you heard or a question at your consult. You go to the script and then you write out your video and then there you go. You're ready for your next video to shoot it. You guys tracking with me on that? It makes sense. Any questions? Okay, perfect. Okay. Biggest mistake in video, making it all about yourself. They don't care where you went to school. They don't care how good your customer service is or how long you've been in business. They may be slightly interested in what your pet looks like or what your favorite sports team is. They're probably really interested in what your restaurant favorite restaurant is. But other than that, they want answers to their questions. Don't make it about you. This will build trust and set you apart, right? Don't make it about you. Make it about them. Look at this one client. Deferred his word and, you know, fines and criminal cases, right? Eight things to know if a police pulls you over. And you're like, that looks like a clown, not an attorney. That's the type of headshots that this guy brands. And because his clients, lower income, criminal defense. He gets five to 10 to 15 clients a month off these videos just by doing this, right? But he makes it about them. Here's some other things for topic selections. I said FAQs. What's the 10 things people ask you on intake? What's the 10 things they ask you on during your consult? And then the various versions of those. Right there, you got 20, 30 videos. And then you drip them all out to everybody who doesn't set an appointment with you or hire you. And guess what? You're proactively answering their questions. Top 10 questions you get from leads, right? Listen for new questions or topics at your consult. Somebody came up with something unique I hadn't heard of in a while. Let's freaking make a video about it right? Google Trends, answer the public. These are places that you can go and search what people are looking for on the internet, YouTube, and other video platforms. I got to tell you, though, with your React and the pop culture and your FAQs, you'll never run out of content, right? This one is big for family law. Talk about doing a whole series on Kate and William, because they're going to get divorced, the family, the royal family. Um, you know, that client, Mike, I was telling you about, he just did a whole series on P. Diddy, getting his house busted in. You know, like 50,000 views in 24 hours. And guess what? It makes all of his other videos drastically increase in views, too. That's what it does to the algorithms. So I'm going to tell you, <clears throat> I'm going to walk you through this, and I'm going to show you an exact picture of a shoot room. So how to set up your shoot location. We help our clients pick shoot rooms, but your shoot room should not be, and it's a location. It doesn't have to be a room. Don't put it in your law library. I mean, your conference room, 
Don't do it on any steps of the courtroom. Go look at my background. Do it in your backyard. Do it in your office hallway. Do it in your office standing up. Do it with something with character in the background. Like you see, I like the best baseball team the world has ever seen. And you also see I have license plates because I travel a lot. And by the way, if you're not watching, that's the Chicago Cubs, the best team. Sorry, our St. Louis friends um, and Wisconsin friends. But that's okay. We can still be friends. But you see, and I like to skydive and do activities off-roading. And, and it's character. It gives you a little bit of insight. People don't want boring. They want a human. They don't want an attorney. They want an, a human. Okay? So you have to have a couple locations, one to start with and the other ones that you can then go drop your equipment, which is your tripod and your phone, so you can go grab it so you're not fumbling around when you want to record a video. So get your shoot locations straight and move them around. Don't do the same one for the next five years. Boring. Equipment, your smartphone, $40 Amazon tripod, $30 plug-in, not Bluetooth, plug-in mic, lapel mic that's got a 30-foot cable on it. I've got my contact information at the end. You want your equipment list of everything you need. You send me an email and I'll send it to you as well. Understand your content. Do not freestyle. Bring your scripts to this. So what we do with our clients is we meet with them for 20 minutes every month to script. You can do this yourself. Calendar it. And then a couple days later, not two weeks, not next day, not same day, then schedule your shoot time. Make it recurring one hour shoot time every month. 20 minute scripting session every month. I'm not talking about a lot of time. If you can't give it two hours a month, video's not a DIY for you, right? Get somebody else in your office to do it or watch your other competitors put the time in and grow a lot quicker. Um, okay, so here's the shoot room. So I'm not a big fan of green screens. This one had some issues with lighting. See these extra tripods? Uh, you don't need them. You need one tripod, you need a background, and then you need your laptop. This is something else that it's not rocket science. Like we didn't send a shuttle to Mars, but we did crack a pretty clever process that I really don't want you sharing with other people as well. So this is the way that we can do this remotely and what you can do on site to always have your script in front of you. So you've got your laptop here. You've got your tripod with your smartphone and your cable your, your mic plugged into your back of your smartphone and you're standing four to six feet away. You wanna be waist up. Why? What did I tell you about communication and body language? Waist up. That's about how far your shot you want, want, it, to be, want it to be, okay? So then what we do is we connect on Zoom. <clears throat> so we then on the Zoom camera, we can see there smartphone with the recording so what's recording and we can see the the attorney so we're directing them during the shoot we're also prompting them on their scripts the other thing is on this laptop we have the script up in large font that you just created the two days before and we'll scroll to the next one the next spot so you now have you're looking at the camera but right just below eyesight you see your entire script do not read it they know don't right? And what you do is you hit record on your phone and you do it in 10 minute chunks. Any longer than 10 minutes, too big to move the data. If you're still on the same video because it's your first one and you need two takes, at the 10 minute mark, hit stop and then create another video and start it again. You do not hit stop if you mess up. Let me tell you that again. You don't redo it all if you mess up. You back up to where you messed up and you just do it again. You're like... Hello, my name is Philip Ferrara. Okay, hold on. I've done this before trying to say my name. Hello, my name is Philip Fairley from Raymay. I don't even know where I'm from. Okay. Hello, my name is Philip Fairley. I'm the president of Brainmaker Institute. Hey, that was great. You let the editors clip out the crap. So you're not taking 75 takes over four hours. You just keep it running. And then on your laptop, instead of having us direct you and prompt verbally with the script, saying, get closer to the camera. Hey, stand back. Hey, we need more excitement in this. Move your hands. That's the type of granularity we get when we're producing with our clients during their shoots. But you can do that yourself and then read the script bullet points from your laptop or tape it to the back of the chair. So now you've got your script. So now you're like, okay, I've got my hook. Okay. Now all you have to do is regurgitate one to two sentences of your hook. You're like, okay, that was good. Okay, now my intro. Okay. 
hello, my name is, and the editors clump that all up and boom, it's all one smooth environment. That's the key to creating video quickly. Does that make sense to anybody? Crickets? Is it so good that I've answered every question? Or you're like, yeah, this is garbage. Or somewhere in between, hopefully. I okay, there we go. Got some everyone is seriously jotting down some notes here. So this is really great. Thank you. I, I hope it is because I'm like, I don't want to be the only one excited about this. Uh, because this stuff works. Wait until I tell you where and how to distribute it. Right? Love okay. It. Can I throw in one more tip of something I do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Love it. Is if you don't want to do the laptop, I will just make my quick little outline of what I want to say in my video. And I literally like tape it to the bottom of my phone or my camera. Yeah. Just so it's I have a room looking at the camera. Not fancy, but it works. I have a room next door to my office because nobody's in that office right now. Um, it's got tape marks on the wall because I taped it to the wall and forgot to turn the paint on the wall. Whatever, works. right? It doesn't have to be fancy. I show you the laptop. Because when we work with our clients, we're zooming in and we do it all for you, yeah. right? But a lot of people will do that with their script, right? So, good. How long should each video be? Awesome. I'm going to tell you a couple things. Um, five to eight minutes. These are what we call long forms. And they're shot vertically. I mean, horizontally. Sorry, I messed that one up. Horizontally. Short form or 30, 60, 90 seconds. Those are shot vertically. But I'm going to tell you there's some magic in between. But what the videos I'm talking about are your standard videos. And I'm going to tell you how to multi-purpose them. So create your videos five to eight minutes and do it horizontally. And somebody just texted me. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, real professional here. Real slick operation, right? I just like to make it, I like to loosen it up because this is a fun topic. Um, so five to eight minutes. The reason why, Scott... It's all about the Benjamins. YouTube can run two ads. They all magically start showing up more when you help the platform make more money. Like same thing I think with conspiracy theories. Don't tell me about them unless you can show me the money. Like show me the money and then I can believe it, right? Um, editing team to pull it all together. Well, we've got eight editors and some producers. So for editing, I can talk to you offline, but for a, a long form video, it's going to take you about an hour for an editor, right? It's going to take less than that for an experienced editor, more than that. But the thing is, when I'm talking talking with the editing, we're also adding B-roll, other videos, music, text, overlays, logo, descriptions, tags, headers. We're also then repurpose them for shorts. So that's why it takes that long. Right? And they can do that for a five to eight minute video and get it back to you in an hour? Oh, no. Oh, um, that's what I thought you were saying. Oh, gotcha. I was actually talking the work. No, um, our editing team, it's usually five or six days Okay, from the shoot. I was you like, wow, the... do you have AI robots doing this or what, <laughs> Philip? So. Okay. We're looking into that, <laughs> um, but no, right. It takes us about five days. Okay. Um, but for you fantastic. to do it yourself, you're looking at about an hour or two, depending upon what you're going to do with it. What editing? We're a big Adobe shop, but you need a degree, I believe, to run Adobe. Um, there's other ones out there. I'm not good at telling you which ones to edit, but whatever ones you feel comfortable with, that you can clip out your ums and ahs, shorten it, put some music background, and put some text with some... You don't have to have B-roll, but B-roll makes a huge difference in people watching it to the end. Um, but also, Shayla, I'll give you my uh, email address if you want me to share the exact versions and other stuff we do. I'd love to meet with you on it and just give you all of my info. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, there's that. Good, All good questions. But great. You learn how to script. You know how to set up your shoot room and where to, how to cheat with your script so you only are repeating one to two sentences and then you repeat a bullet point and expand on it a little bit without starting and stopping and taking 50 takes. Now, let's say you've got a video. Great. You better get eyes on it, <laughs> honestly, because if you don't get eyes on it, then it doesn't matter. This is how we supercharge Mike's videos. This 
is something we just added to this list three months ago. This is a growing, evolving list because things are so rapidly changing right now for distribution. Omnichannel. I hate single-use marketing items. They piss me off. They take too much time. And I can't track the ROI. And heck if I know if my clients are on Instagram, TikTok, Reels, Facebook, email. Well, I, I don't know where they are. They're everywhere. I don't. Which one are you going to pick? Maybe you're smarter than I am. Maybe you know what one platform that you rule on. Maybe it's LinkedIn. I don't. Right. I like to put them everywhere. I don't know. Call me silly. What I like to do is it will take you one to two, 30, 60 days to put these processes in place to connect all these things if you're to do it yourself. And then when you create the video and you've got the editing, now you've got the system to distribu distribute it. We of course do this all for our clients, but for you guys, you set up the ability on how to post to these different platforms. And that way, when your video's ready, you know where you're gonna shoot, you've got your script, you've got your editing figured out, whether you're doing it, outsourcing it, or somewhere in between, and now you know you were gonna distribute it, so you work on getting those systems in place. And then you just start cranking it. Like, don't start making videos until you have this figured out. Because you it just won't work. You'll stop. Be like, this, nobody saw it. Yeah, because you didn't do this. So let me share with you what we do for Mike and how he's getting 10 to 15 clients every month off his videos. I, I swear, this I'm not making these numbers up. So first we take the video. And then we use some AI, we transcribe it, and then we have our SEO people, they go do research keywords and then they stuff it in there and now they've got a blog. It's not the best blog in the world. It's not gonna compete with a $10,000 SEO budget, but it's an offshoot of something you've already created and it's fresh and new content and it will rank. And Google loves new fresh and content. And it's just a byproduct. So embrace it. Right. Don't cancel all your SEO if you're if that's one of your big, you know, approaches to getting new clients. But this will just add to it. Right. Video to a newsletter. How many in here have a newsletter? You mean you don't get repeat clients? Nobody gets repeat. Anybody get repeat clients? Yeah, uh, I, everybody should be like, I, this is yes. And I want more. And they're the easiest to close right? You started one, but we haven't thrown it out there. Well, Amanda, I will bet on your competitor that's getting a real crappy newsletter out every month, every single month. I'll bet on them every day versus somebody that gets a perfect newsletter, but doesn't go out until it's once a quarter or twice a year. Getting it done is better than perfect. With your videos now, oh my gosh, D, you think you, you want to talk about click-through rates? Add videos. You have to wait for approval first. Ah, sounds like I'm working with attorneys. I get it, right? No judgment. But you don't have to get it approved if the attorney's already on the video. You know why we did this? We write blogs for clients. We don't have to get them to approve it. You know how hard it is to get an attorney to approve, approve a blog? They're like, well, I need to send this to the bar. And blah, 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 blah. Right? they're like, no, those are your words, right? So you just stuff a video newsletter. You write two sentences, happy spring. And then here you go, right? It's all about the touch. Touch, 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 touch. They're not going to remember you unless you're touching them, like all the time. And in Chicago, I had a furnace that blew out. I live in Phoenix. I don't even know if I have a furnace in my house now, but I do have two air conditioners. But we had a furnace blew out. Um, and I had to go get a repair. So I had to go find a guy. And I didn't know anybody who had a guy. So I had to go find somebody. They did great work. He put it in. Um, it was great. And then as he was going out, I saw him drill his business card right into the big piping that came out of the furnace. I'm like, it's not supposed to be airtight. What are you doing? It's like, no, it's metal. It's not airtight. It's just a duck. Oh, no. What are you doing? It was his business card. Fast forward a year and a half later through a brutal Chicago winter, the furnace stops working. I'm like, who do I call? And, uh, oh, yeah. Why? Because he was on top of my mind. He put his card on that furnace. So when I needed him, he was there. Same concept with a newsletter. You're just there. Just do it, right? It's a byproduct. Nurturing emails. I hope, I hope everyone in here has a CRM. If you don't, some, we have an intake system. 
full disclosure, I talked to you about it before, we call it turbine. But if you don't have an intake in the CRM system for your law firm, oh my gosh, um, you're leaving a lot of opportunity on the table and you're always going to struggle to scale. I'm just going to throw that right out there right now. But if you do, you jam it full of video. So anybody who comes in for an estate planning for high net worth that's a business owner, let's just say it's Kristen's one of her practice areas, niches, um, and they don't hire me or they don't set the consult, here's the five emails that go out in the first week and a half. And then here's the videos. They got, and they just keep going out over and over again, automated. And talk about nurturing and, and, and talking to that lead all the time and then turning that lead into a client. So nurturing is probably you're going to get the most views on your video for your nurturing videos. Or if you're big into React videos, but then that, the nurturing videos will be your biggest ROI. They will make you thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years. So just do it. Social posts. So we take this vertical. You're like, well, horizontal, vertical. You said this is for what? Why is this for? Yeah, because everybody scrolls on their phone. So when you shoot horizontal, our editors then turn it into vertical for shorts and reels, TikToks, Instagram, LinkedIn. And then we schedule, we put it on a calendar. So on Monday, they get the blog post. On Wednesday, they get the full video. On Thursday, they get a short. On Friday, they get a short. On Saturday, they get a short. On Sunday, they get a short. Then all of a sudden, now they're back to the next video and they rinse and repeat. That's how you take care of your organic social by creating a couple of um, two hours a month on video. Pretty interesting. So if this whole web and all of these things is super overwhelming, if the attorney is like, okay, I can get over my fear of hearing my own voice and being on camera, I can make the videos, I can answer questions. But like this part of it, that's where I start to go, oh my gosh, I don't have time for that. You've so, got to put the process be- in place. you got to put somebody responsible for it or some mechanism to do this. Because when your video drops, you need your team to then slice it up or your editors have already sliced it up and then schedule the distribution. If you don't do that, it won't get done. It's not your job. Please don't make it your job. But it's your responsibility to make it done, make it happen. So that's why I'm sharing these and all these different icons of the different platforms. If you don't have these platforms, go up and sign up for it and then figure out how to optimize the channel, figure out how to post on a schedule or use a third-party tool or somebody on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Fridays does the posting for you or whatever that may be. Your responsibility to figure out the schedule. If you want a good schedule, I'd love to share it. I don't have time today, but there's all different types for practice areas that we found typically get the best results. But- in six months, that's going to change. <laughs> People change. People change. Then I told you into the shorts and the reels. So you'd make that long video and you get all your shorts, all your reels, everything. I don't like making individuals. Once in a while I do, right? Um, I like to make shorts for certain things because um, I don't want to talk the whole video or go through the process. But realistically, for my ongoing marketing, we're getting those all created from our videos that we're already repurposing. Just create the video and repurpose it. We also put all these videos, you start out with those core videos, so they go on your website, right? And then we start helping you determine, or you need to determine which videos are most important that will give you the biggest, quickest ROI, the biggest bang, what's the biggest opportunity with this? I've got a CRM, but no videos in it? Oh, crap. Let's load up our nurturing, right? Or whatever it may be. Then this is something that's really changed the game. Um, How many in in here do um, any type of paid ads they want to put in chat any type of paid ads, LSAs, Google, social, Facebook, and you can throw billboard and radio or TV. Hopefully I don't see too many of those today, but paid Google. Yep. So based upon Walter, what's your practice area? If you don't mind sharing, so you just put in paid Google because there's different recipe cards that we found out for practice areas that work. Estate planning. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. I love it. So this applies for, um, and and so I told Kristen it'd be 45 minutes, but we're there right now, but I love this. This is good stuff. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so for estate planning, I'm also going to say tax attorneys, IP attorneys, business to business attorneys, any law firm practice area that you need to educate your leads before they become a client. The ones that have to pre-educate 
like criminal defense, there's no education needed. Like I'm going to jail if you don't help me, right? Or whatever it may be. I know it's pretty guttural, but that's the reality of it. So for estate planning, I love, we've got a couple of clients in estate planning. They're just killing this. And we just started it two months ago. I kid you not. This is so fresh. Why? We stumbled across. This is what was resonating. So we're the ones that need to educate. What you do is you're running social ads. You're like, yeah, Facebook ads suck. They don't work. Yeah. Cause you're like, buy my estate plan. Hey, I'm an attorney. I'm here. I was going to say, I'm in Vegas. I can help, but I didn't want to put you on the spot, Christine. You can pick on me. It's I'm an attorney. Buy my stuff. I can help you. You're thinking of getting a divorce. You need a state plan. Nobody clicks on that. Like your mom's not even going to click on that. She's like, oh, my daughter is fine. I'm not going to click on that. Right? Nobody wants that. Those don't work. What does work is <clears throat> if you own a business and have family wealth that you want to protect, here are four critical things that you need to know in the state of Nevada. So you run what we call top of the funnel marketing message. That's like the 90%, the most eyes get the biggest reach, not hyper niche, the biggest reach, even though I said business owner and wealth, that's still pretty wide for estate planners, right? So, and then you're like, I've got a free training for you you click on this, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to know. All right. Oh, you're not trying to sell me shit? That's cool. You're just going to teach me? Okay, great. They click on it. And then this is what happens. This is what you do. Then you've got your pre-canned webinar. Remember you used to do all those lunch and learns? I loved it when one lady said, I love doing lunch and learns, but I hate all the people that come in. I call them plate lickers. They just come in for the free Ruth Chris steak. I'm like, that's pretty funny. Um, but your webinars, your estate plan, all the, hopefully, maybe you started at the library at one point, right? When you were first starting, your, I don't know, right? Wherever it may be, the you take your home. best stuff. What's that? The nursing home. Yeah. The nursing home, right? <laughs> that's like the PI attorney opening up shop beside the chiropractor. Same idea. You're like, I'm going to start somewhere, right? Um, but uh, um, what you do is, you then have, you take that, your best stuff, your presentation, and we help our clients, we whittle it down to eight to 10 to 12 to 14 minutes. However long it takes you, not a lot of fluff, however long it takes you to come across with your idea and your concept. So what you're doing is you're having this evergreen webinar that's playing all the time. So your lunch and learns are going on Tuesday morning, Monday afternoon, Wednesday night, Thursday, I, I don't know, whenever they want to watch it. Not Tuesday at 6 p.m. at at, at, at the Longhorn, I, I, or I don't want to, you know, be whatever it may be, right? I'm being a little silly, but it plays it all the time. Then I also put in there in yellow, retargeting. Because then what you do with this is when the video plays, we usually like playing the video for three, four, five minutes. And then it pops up and asks them, because you're like on this video, hey, I'm going to teach you this, I'm going to teach you this, I'm going to teach you this, and then I'm going to show you this. And then it pops up and says, hey, you want to watch the rest of the video? Give me your name and your email address and your phone number, right? That's how you get 80% lead capture, whereas Google pay-per-click gets 20% of people that click on an ad to do something or enter their name. Most of them click off, don't call, click on and do nothing. Only 20% do. If you want 80, 60 to 80% to do something with your ads, this is what you would do if you're an estate planner or somebody needs to educate. So now you've got their contact information and then you got them. Because then they watch the whole video. Hopefully they take action, but you may get four or 5% that will take action after watching it. Let's be realistic. But then you retarget them with those same core videos that are sitting off your website that you've already made. And you retarget the heck out of them. You follow them everywhere. So like those pair of Amazon shoes a decade ago when they first learned how to retarget. You click on an Amazon, there was a Facebook, YouTube, Google, whatever. I can't get away from these shoes. I got to buy them. So what happens is they start seeing you everywhere. And you know what happens? They give up and call your firm. They're like, I give up. Okay, you win. I'm calling you. At a much higher rate. And a re we're spending, we do retargeting. You may see some of our stuff. We spend about $1,000 a month in retargeting. And we work with attorneys and we got clients in 42, 44 states all across the country. It, we had small budgets, high intent people that want to watch that video. And then you retarget the high intent ones and you follow them everywhere. And then phone calls start coming in. 
and you then put your retargeting, you put it on your website. So everybody that goes to your website, guess what they're going to get? They're going to get your videos retargeted to them on social media, YouTube, Facebook, Google, and you're going to be paying 10 cents of you, 50 cents of you, a quarter versus $175 for a click that nobody did anything with. You're getting leads that will call in and views way under $50 to $100. And they have high intent. Think about, you know, personal injury, exact opposite. You run this, you'll spend all your money and get nothing. Criminal defense doesn't work. You wouldn't think it'd work in family law, but you know what works in family law? <clears throat> is, your no, is your spouse a narcissist? Here's four ways to see if they are. Everybody clicks on that. And then you can educate them on why they're a narcissist and why you should get a phone call from them so you can get out of that relationship. That seems to work right now. But a lot of the other practice areas, this particular strategy won't work. But you're reusing your videos to retarget them. So let's say you're just doing Google pay-per-click and your criminal defense is more transactional or family law more long-term, but they may not respond to education and that's not how you normally get a, a lead interested in becoming a client. Let's just say you're doing pay-per-click. 1,000% when they click on that, you send them to a landing page and you better have a video that starts or a quick way to them give the, to call you but most importantly, you better put your retargeting pixel on there. So everybody that hits that, then you can retarget the heck out of them with the videos outside of your Google pay-per-click campaign. And if your paid vendor is not talking to you about retargeting for everything, then they're doing you a disservice. I was going to say taking your money, but they could be giving you a big ROI, but they're doing you a disservice if they're not retargeting because that's the only thing that's working right now on a consistent basis with paid ads. And the way to like exacerbate the results, there's really only one way, it's video. But you reuse the videos you're already making. With privacy laws in some place. Oh, hmm, right. Interesting. Um, Marty, I'd love to talk to you about that because um, like I said, I've spoken at over 30 bar associations for CLEs and I've talked a lot about retargeting. We've never had anybody um, have an issue with that. We're even talking high intellectual things. You're not discussing strategies, sharing information. Oh, you're in Canada. Okay. Gotcha. I'd love to hear what, because we have some Canadian clients that are doing this, but I'd love to hear what those are because I'd like to learn. Um, cause I'm not aware of any of those in, in the States here. Um, but yeah, so that's the distribution. So here's another bonus I'm, I'm going to share with you. For he, uh, Mike has an intake system that automates and sends out his videos. Remember, I'm telling you about how he's doing these videos and how much he's making, how quick he's 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 getting them out. But here's another great strategy I was talking to you about on the nurturing side. So for everybody that doesn't set an appointment with this firm or doesn't hire him at the consult, they have a very similar nurturing follow-up for each of them. But this is, I came up with this about a year and a half ago and I've got a lot of clients using it and I just think it's golden. <clears throat> What it's like to be a client of ours, day number one. That's your video. It's like, yes, please tell me, because I've got no freaking idea. I don't even know what we're doing. I'm like, I'm in trouble or I need help. And I don't even know how all this works. And you're like, if you're bankruptcy, think what that message would be. We take everything off your plate, right? If you're a state planner, protect your legacy, your family, your X, Y, Z, right? Your criminal defense. Former prosecutor knows the judge's best outcome possible. Hold your hand, walk you into court, do everything for you, your biggest advocate. Think about the messaging and how fun and creative you could get with that, that everybody gets to see over and over and over again, what it's like to be a client of ours, day number one. Walk them through the whole process. What happens, right? Speak to their why. Why are they calling? Is it to protect their family? Is it to protect their freedom? Is it to get a, a business buyout? What is their why? What are they? Those are the things, the videos that relate to them. Not like, well, we're going to file the paperwork here. We're going to have a continuance here. We're going to have to do this type of discovery. Nobody cares about that. They care about what their goals are. Make it about their goals. It's their journey. You're the guide in their journey. It's not anything to do about you. They don't care about you. I care about you. 
They don't. <laughs> so here's what Mike's results were. He increased his hired laters. These are the people that left his console and said, ah, I got to go home and think about it. I go home and think about it. So once they're on the fence, right? Ah, insert excuse here. He increased the higher later rates by 23%. I call that frosting because most attorneys call them bad leads. Most attorneys don't understand. They walked out their door, walked down the door and hired their competitor because nobody likes to shop attorneys. They're not buying a mattress, not looking for vacation. They got legit stuff going on. Just because you didn't do it right or didn't connect with them doesn't mean they were a bad lead. Nurture them, right? After six months, he's averaging 14 more leads. And this is not, he was not spending a dollar more, just organic videos. 14 more leads. Why? Because they were everywhere. He just, I met with him last week because I wanted to get an update. Because I told you, this is new stuff. Like we're building out new recipe cards all the time. It's like, Dan, how's it working? These are criminal defense retainers in the last three weeks from his videos. I don't know what your average client's worth. Hopefully it's not $2,700. Hopefully that was a Muni case, um, but whatever it may be, right? Uh, this isn't a joke. This stuff really works. You want to separate yourself, humanize yourself, and be different than everyone else? You know what you need to do. I just showed you how to do it. He spends two hours a month and he calendars it. Then when he runs ads, he only spends an hour, a quarter shooting videos because see, you want to maybe change your strategy from paid ads, retargeting ads, organic videos, or the whole gamut, right? We help our clients navigate what's your goals. This is the quickest way to get to your goal. Then we do this. Then we do this. If you're doing this on your own, you're like, I need my phone to ring more, or I'm getting my phone to ring a lot, but I don't have time to follow up with anybody. Um, I've got no videos on my website. We've got zero newsletter or social media presence. What's your goals? Then you tailor that to your strategy, right? Um, all of his organic marketing is covered. I show you where to distribute it. He's paying, he's doing videos and all of his organic marketing is taken care of as a byproduct. Yes, please. <laughs> he just hired another associate. This is his fifth. And then he just started retargeting ads. And that's what these came from. I don't know which direction you're looking at the slide. It could be this way or this way. But that's where those retainers get you. That's where those retainers came from. And he spends under $800 a month in retargeting. Don't tell me Facebook doesn't work. Don't tell me YouTube doesn't work. You better do it right for your practice area, right? And that's a guy that spends ten to $15,000 a month on pay-per-click. Now, where most attorneys fail, consistent. You're inconsistent. You run out of interesting topics. I already told you how to do that. You just don't know what to say. You have a lot of stuff to say. People want to hear. They really fail on the distribution repurpose because they're like, well, my video got three views. It took me four hours to do it. And I made five of them. Nobody does it. Video doesn't work. Right? No time blocking. So you can do it fast or slow. I want to kickstart this with you. I know we're out of time here. But here's what I'm going to offer you. We've got every, all your videos need to start with YouTube. YouTube is not the biggest and most valuable platform for you. Let me hear, say that again. YouTube is not the biggest and most valuable platform for attorneys on video, but everyone needs to start there. You don't stop there, you start there. So if you don't have your YouTube channel optimized, nobody's going to see it. If you don't have the right tags and it doesn't coincide with the rest of your, nobody's going to see it. If you don't know how to do the descriptions and the thumbnails and the titles, this guide's gonna help show it. Got a little QR code, snap it, go to the rainmakerinstitute.com forward slash YouTube guide. Um, we're probably gonna pop it here. I don't know if I still have it on my, put it in my chat. Uh, maybe Kristen, if you still have it on there, put it on there. Yeah. And I then also, I never, ever, ever, I'm the owner of Rainmaker. We're, we're a pretty well-sized company. But I just love Kristen and I really love what she does. And I'm really excited to be here. So I'm giving you my email address. If you want to set a time to talk about your strategies, if you want some of these templates, I showed you one. If you want a couple more, send me an email. I will get back to you and I will send these to you. 
if you want to take a meeting with me so I can tell you the exact equipment that you want, I'm not going to try to sell you because we have a sales department and a sales director, and that's not me. I will give you our best stuff, right? And then if it makes sense, you got time or money, but I'm not here to sign up clients. I'm here to help you to raise the bar because this is such a big blue ocean of opportunity that attorneys just aren't capitalizing on. 92% of all industries and typical businesses use video, yet less than 20% of law firms do. It's actually 19%. You're missing the boat. Every day, more people are getting into it. Scan this, get the guide, right? This will start the journey. But if you want more, you've got my email address, philip at the Rainmaker Institute. I'd love to do a strategy session with you and, and share with you and answer your specific questions. That's what I got. Well, I'll clap for everyone because that was just so great. Thank you, Philip. And um, I will say this guy is like, an idea machine. If you, anytime I'm with him, if we're talking about his business, my business, someone else's company, you know, he's always got ideas of how to make something bigger, better and make improvements. So um, you're just such a great resource and thank you for your generosity to share this with you. So I'm going to wait to see if anybody has questions because I'll be shocked if they don't. Um, but in the meantime, let's see, I, you covered my question about the equipment. Um, let's see. Do you have any data on like what impact video really makes on the bottom line for a law firm? Like have you had any clients where you've seen like once we incorporated video, they were getting 20% more clients or anything like that? Well, you know, that's why I did share those retainers. Um, yeah. On average, it's hard to quantify that, right? Yeah. Um, because I could give you some number and be like, oh, that's great. Um, but it's like, okay, I can pull it out of, you know, thin air. But we have, I throw around the stat of about 350, 360% increase in ROI from, they've done studies on marketing campaigns and then marketing campaigns with video. And that's really kind of the closest to get maybe an apples to apples because you're talking practice here. Like, are you guys even calling these people back? Are you nurturing them? Like you're getting these leads or what are you doing? So there's so many variables with that. And it's not a magic bullet, like add video and then all my dreams are solved because you still need to convert them. You still need, right, obviously. But having like HubSpot said about a 350% increase in video with video on for marketing campaigns of your ROI. So if you're spending a thousand bucks for that um, and you're getting an ROI of, let's say, you know, double that. So you're getting, you know, $3,000 return. Well, if you add video, you can increase that by about 300%. Because just think of that image with the boy. Think of the picture. And then how many people commented on the chat? I hope the boy, I hope the dog's okay. I'm like, what? This is That's the impact of video. So just think about it. Yeah. Right? We're not scrolling at, on, we're not scrolling. I don't sit in bed every night reading blogs. Sorry, it's, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the only one. I don't know. We but, used to. We used to read blogs, but that those days are gone. Yeah. <laughs> right. We still do them. People need them when they need that information. But that's not what I do in my leisure time. I just do know that even if it was a 200% increase over normal marketing, I just have to tell you, we have clients that will be getting PI clients on Google pay-per-click for five, four hundred, five hundred dollars cost. But with video, they're drastically reducing that over what they're paying on pay-per-click. Yeah. Right. Um, just Absolutely. everything just. It's, it's, it just amplifies. Yeah. It's like steroids for marketing. Well, before everyone runs, I wanted to launch a quick poll just to get a little feedback from you uh, about, you know, how can we help you as you're continuing to try to grow your firm and help more clients? So if you could take a minute to just quickly answer these questions for us, let us know if you'd like to have a strategy call with Philip and Rainmaker. Um, if you'd like to have a call with us um, and we will be happy to um, make that happen for you. If we can, if we can help you now or in the near future. So, um, Philip, I, I know you've already been so generous with your time, but did you have any other offers or, or resources for people that you want to be sure to mention? The only other thing is if you grab my email address and you want the equipment list, if you want some scripts, and if you want to grab a time on my calendar, those are I don't know what else I can, if you think of something else you want, email me and I will give it to you because I just want you to do video. 
Yes, I really do. Fantastic. And I put his email in the chat too, if you need to grab oh, that. Perfect. Perfect. Well, this was fun. I had a blast. Yeah, me great. too. Me too. Thank you again for your generosity. I'm going to wait a couple more seconds, see if anybody else wants to answer the poll, but that okay. wraps it up for today, folks. If you, um, you know, want more information, hopefully you know where to get it and definitely encourage you to maybe even follow the Rainmaker Institute on social media on your favorite channel to see what they're doing. That might give you some ideas too. So right. um, as always, if we can help you get more work done with our incredibly talented network of freelance attorneys all across the U.S. Let us know, yeah. team at lawclerk.legal, team at lawclerk.legal. And that's the day. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.